morning everybody, bonjour à vous tous, buongiorno, buenos dias a todos, Calimera. We, unfortunately, we don't have the translation. Do you have translation? No. English or French? English. English? Okay. Uh, thank you very much for coming to this press conference. Um, I am very happy and want to thank the Bulgarian Prime Minister, Mr. Borisov, for this event. It is the, the policy for Western Balkans is crucial for the European Union, not only because there are two European member states in in the Balkans, there are many country candidates as members, full members of the European Union. But first of all, because the, the stability of the Balkans is the stability of the European Union. There are two points, or three points. Illegal immigration, the European Union through the agreement with Turkey and with the cooperation of the, the Balkans, West Balkans countries achieved a good goal against illegal immigration in this corridor. The second point is the engagement against terrorism. There are a lot of foreign fighters coming back to Europe, come, going back to the Balkans, Kosovo, and, but not only. We are supporting the, the, the Islam in Bosnia and Herzegovina. It's very moderate Islam in favor of the dialogue with the other religions. But I think that there is a strategy for changing this Islam from a very moderate for a Balkan Islam in a fundamentalist Islam. There are a lot of jihadists coming from other countries going to Bosnia and Herzegovina. The third and the most the crucial point is the growth of this region. I proposed during the, the summit a, a package for growth of the Balkans, 10 billion euro for new investments, European investments in this region. Infrastructure, motorways, railways, a digital network. I totally support the action of Commissioner Gabriel on the roaming, but also on the digital uh, policy in this region. The European Parliament is strongly engaged. I come from a meeting with the, the President, Serbian President Bucic. I underline during the meeting with him. I totally agree with the proposal of the European Commission for Serbia and Montenegro, full members of the European Union before the end of 2025. Of course, we need to respect our rules. We need to work hard during this years, in the next years, also through the support of the European Union. But we need to, to respect the rules, we need to, to, to defend the freedom of the press, we need more transparency, rule of law, but they are in the right direction. I think we, for this, I think it is important to work all together in this direction. I'm ready for your questions. Svetelina Katanska, Bulgarska Nacionalna Televizija. You need translation. I don't know if there is the Svetelina Katanska, Bulgarska Nacionalna Televizija. Do you have translation? No. I think I don't have translation. I check. No translation. No. 
uh, or in English or in French, in Spanish and Italian. Unfortunately, I don't know Bulgarian. In my next life, I will study Bulgarian. But... Uh, what is the perspective uh, of the meeting today? And uh, do you have a consensus of, about uh, the Balkans? I, I think uh, all the leaders are in favor of a, a strong cooperation with the Balkans, the Western Balkans. Everybody understands the importance of this region, the stability of these regions. We want to be as European protagonists in this region, is European region. And there are in this region many states candidate as member, a full member of the European Union. We are working hard. We are in favor of investments. We are in favor of cooperation. Of course, we ask good initiative, first of all, rule of law, also peace, better cooperation between the different member states is not easy, but we need to do it. Please. Yes, Thomas Miglierina from uh, Swiss Television. Sorry to bring you to Italian politics, but we just saw Prime Minister Gentiloni he said he spent a lot of time uh, talking about Italy and reassuring uh, his colleagues. I was wondering whether you also had to spend a lot of time talking about uh, Italy between yesterday and this morning. There is a dialogue between two different parties, Lega and Five Stars. I think we, we need to look to, to, to Italy, but without a program, without the name of the Prime Minister, it's difficult to, <coughs> to, 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 to have a comment on this. Of course, to leave Euro in every country should be a big mistake, not only for Europe, first of all for the European citizens living in this country, for the families, and for this uh, uh, it's important to, 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 to follow the situation day by day. It's very, very serious, the situation also looking to the stock exchange, looking at uh, the markets. I think we need to, to, to respect the rules. It's possible, and we need probably to change the European Union. But to change is not to destroy the European Union. Okay. Last question, then, please. Bulgarian National Radio, Valeria Nikolova. Uh, good morning. Let's, let's, good morning. Let's go back to Balkan issue. Um, could we, uh, could we um, um, have in mind that until the end of this year, Macedonia and Albania will receive an invitation for membership talks as it was uh, in the report of European Commission? Thank you. But we need to speak with the President of the European Commission, not with me. We, we need to, to, to work hard in the fire room in Albania. The dialogue is open, but we need to work a lot. In, in, uh, in pole position, as I said, there are Serbia and Montenegro. Last question. I'm Bilena Matiashevich from Daily VST from Montenegro. My question is about Montenegro, of course. <laughs> what do you think, what is position of Montenegro now due to the recent developments and attack to the journalists? And how do you comment that, that the new president of Montenegro, former Prime Minister Milo Djukanovic, called one media fascistic, fascist? And how can it contribute to 
freedom of media in Montenegro. Thank you. I visited Montenegro six or seven months ago. I think Montenegro is, in the, is working in the right direction. As in every state, not only candidate, but also in Europe, we need to strengthen the freedom of the press. I said the same in Malta and in Slovakia, for example, after the murder of the two journalists. For this, I am journalist. For this, I am part of this debate. The freedom of the press is crucial everywhere. The, 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 the political dialogue is a political dialogue. But I think it's important the real freedom of the press, not only in Montenegro, everywhere. Because I'm not a teacher. First of all, I want to look at uh, Malta, I want to look at Slovakia, because after the murder of these two journalists, we need, we need to be very, very serious if you want to, to, to send good uh, messages to the other uh, countries or to the, uh, the countries' uh, candidate as full member. But I think freedom of the press is one of the most important uh, points in, in the dialogue with the, the, the state candidate as full member. Thank you. Thank you very much. Okay, other questions? The last, the last question, super last, because we have the family photo. Thank I you. love the journalists. Super I last, but I think it's most important. <laughs> Jana Bozinovska Not difficult, from, no? from Macedonia. Uh, I need uh, your opinion, your comment about meetings of two prime ministers. Do you expect something to move forward? Thank you. But uh, as I said, all the Western Balkans are Europe. But if these countries want to be full members of the European Union, we need to respect our rules. There are countries working hard, very well in the right the direction. As I said, Serbia and Montenegro are in pole position in this moment, and we need to work hard this direction, also in Fyrom and also in other uh, Western Balkans countries. For this, uh, uh, we, we are not against, we, we, we are pushing in this uh, direction. I visited your country uh, two years ago when I was Vice President of the European Parliament. We, we, we are supporting democracy, rule of law, transparency, freedom of the press, We are against corruption. We, we need to, to respect the rules everywhere. For this, we, we, we are supporting all the, the states of the Western Balkans, also your, your country. And the name? It is most important. It's not, not my job. Eh? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you very much. Bye bye. Thank you.